All right, we're now 24 days away from the Indianapolis 500. And when fans go out to the track, they're going to see changes just about everywhere they go, <laughs> even in the bathroom. All right, look, relax, guys. The 500 tradition of going in a community urinal has been preserved. Oh, well, goodness gracious. <laughs> Good news. <laughs> yes, in honor of this, there's even a new T-shirt that honors the infamous trough at the track. This is an unlikely icon of the 500. Rich Van Wyk explains. When the speedway roars back to life, fans will see $15 million of improvements, a new grander entryway, dozens of new video boards, better cell phone service, and lots of new paint and polish. I think it's going to make people just feel more comfortable, so therefore watching the race is going to be easier and more fun. Fans will see changes coming and quite literally going to the bathroom. We actually went through um, about half of the restrooms here. Painting, updating, and in the men's rooms, replacing ancient troughs with new troughs. People were concerned about the troughs. It was part of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway experience. Really? It is really part of the experience for a lot of folks. It's hard to believe. It is a true number one concern. Matt McAlini was six when he attended his only 500. I remember the troughs, <laughs> the wonderful troughs. <laughs> It's an image hard to forget. It's definitely only a guy thing on race day, standing around, relieved, relaxed, hanging out with 50 people you don't know. Mark White knows. You know, you come here for the, the nostalgia and, and kind of seeing things that have been here since the 30s, 40s, 50s, so it's, it's exciting to see them. Speedway President Doug Bowles decided to honor the lowly trough with its own T-shirt, a giant urinal hanging over the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Even IMS owner Roger Penske liked it. Took a little bit of time to get Roger to get a smile on his face, but as soon as I saw that smile, I was off and running. So are online sales. About three shirts sold every two minutes. There is more than one reason the Indianapolis 500 is the greatest spectacle in racing. I don't like the troughs. <laughs> don't like them at all, but Doug Bull said he got calls from fans who wanted to buy the old ones. Oh, my Can goodness. Can you believe that? No, just buy the T-shirt. I think it's $32. <laughs> right. All right, the race is Sunday, May 30th. And don't forget, 13 News is your home for the month of May. It's the only place you're going to be able to watch the race on TV. <laughs>